Hey everybody. Tired and achy, but good. I'm glad to hear good is still in there, Geeky, even if tired and achy preceded it. Hey, Doodles. Hey, Rose. <gasps> Rose isn't a subscriber anymore. You were at your sister's wedding, Geeky. Oh, yeah, of course you would take... You were doing You were doing camera stuff. Duh. My foot hurts, and I keep having to walk on stage. Oh, Rose, that's harsh. So totally different to a prison, yeah. I actually had a nice day, praise. <gasps> Wolf Bay, that's awesome. I'm just gonna grab my controller. Give, give me like two seconds. For some reason, I am dumb and dumb. I put my controller for my PlayStation 4 actually over here with my PlayStation 4. Haha, <laughs> who knew? <laughs> oh, I wish I when I get home. Oh, don't, don't worry, Rose. I was only messing about. Yeah. It's just because your li little star is gone. And that means you're. That means your clockwork heart's gone away. I'm going to be going until about 11 tonight. That's the plan. Is it still September? I think it's September a little bit longer, actually. When does it end? <gasps> September goes right up until the 18th of October. Bloody Twitch put me on the bloody beta. Oh, Raddy, no. I haven't looked at the beta yet, but I've heard everyone that's tried it has had, like, problems with it. Ugh. September has been extended till the 18th. This is good stuff. Probably get home around 10.45-ish. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, man. Do one last, let's do one advert here, and then we're gonna get cracking. Oh, hey, what's that about extended September? September goes on until the 18th of October now, so you've got another like almost two weeks to get subbed, which is great. There's a new beta for Twitch, Geeky. They're like, um, they're like extending, they're like they're changing things, making things better. <laughs> so, some of it is obviously great, some of it's terrible. As is, you know, pretty usual. So yeah, all of the subs, subs Desi. I would love some more subs, subs are always great. <laughs> but right now, I'm gonna kill this music because I'm gonna start up Dagan Rumpa V3. Now, what I've heard about Dagan Rumpa is that it's essentially a visual novel like Japanese game, but it's gory as shit and mixed with uh, like Phoenix Wright style stuff. I'm sorry in advance for lurking. I'm going to be doing some cosplay. That's absolutely fine, Geeky. We like lurkers. We like lurkers. Lurkers are fine. This game's very quiet at the moment. There we go. It's gory, I'm not good with gore. Well, it's gory, it's anime, geeky, so it's not like proper gore. Um, it's an anime game, it's a, it's a visual novel, so it's not like anything crazy. Surprise, <laughs> Thank you, Raddy. For the host, I've not played this game, but I've done the other two, your description is correct. Thank you, Doodles. I have, th this is the brand new one. Hmm. Oh, still drinking pink lemonade, Lucasade from the weekend. Welcome, Becca, it's good to see you here. I do not have the demo version. I'll stick to English voice. Oh, you have to unlock content? Oh, is it episodic? Let you unlock things. Logic difficulty. Let's go with normal for both, shall we? And action difficulty. Yeah, let's go with both. I couldn't watch Attack on Titan. I'm really not good with any kind of gore. Stupid, I know. Well, I'm just going from other people's descriptions. Literally, all I know about Danganronpa is that guy is Monokuma. Monokuma is a monochrome bear, and he's, like, fucking evil. 
My reset didn't announce. Oh, already? What? No, it didn't. Guys, can we get some hype? Some sub hype in the chat for ready? Because that's that's awful that that didn't do that. Let's get some sub hype going. I'm going to have to try and kick off this and see if it breaks like Sonic. Yeah, let's get some sub hype going because that's fucking ridiculous. And from me, you're going to get the, the full range of clockwork hype. Because, yeah, clockwork hype gone go. Let's find out what this game is all about then. Nothing? Oh, okay. Alright. No light, no sound, no form, no voice, no knowledge of who I am. Who I am? Who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. To take hold of my existence. Oh, it's a girl. Okay. Is that me? Am I playing as... Is me. Oh, okay. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. Okay, Kaede. Am I Kaede? I just remembered who I am. Milkshake blood, like Saw 7. Oh, God. All my info is based on the first game. Fair, Becca. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Oh, she's kind of cute. She's very plain for a main character in an anime, though. Like, don't you, do you think? Don't you, don't you think? SJ, you are so kawaii. I know, right? Like, pink sparkles and everything. I extend my hand. She touched my boob. I am definitely a girl. Oh, that's good to see big blood red barbed wire on the walls. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Well, that seems about right. I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain rushed through my head. But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Wait, where am I? What is this place? Those cross eyes aren't going to help with the puzzles, I know, right? I looked around. Clumsy though, yep, definitely an anime protagonist. The other two had plain bland looking protags. I guess with as many like crazy looking characters as they've got, they can't have crazy looking protags do. Where am I? What am I doing here? Thank you, voice acting, for helping me out, saving a bit of my voice. Uh. This is a dream. I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. One step and she falls. Definitely an anime protagonist. We should be playing some kind of character bingo for this. Confused as I was, I, ha I tried to remember how I ended up here. What the shit? I'm hearing you twice, then I muted the stream, and now I'm only hearing you once. With the stream muted, with the sound syncing perfectly with your mouth movements. What is this nonsense, Twitch? Have you maybe got two, two, two of it open than norm- like, have you got two windows of it open, maybe, by accident? Suddenly, the knocker next to mine started swaying and shaking. I, as I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... Oh, the stupid beta. A boy came stumbling out. <gasps> oh no. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered and when he slowly lifted his head... He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster. Fell on his butt and scooted back. Who are you? Are you with those other guys? What other guys? I'm not going to voice every character. That's ridiculous. You're going to have to read, I'm afraid, people. But I will do the narrator voice that comes up in blue. Are you sure you're not just outside SJ's house? Damn it, Cone. No, I'm inside his house. Cone's actually coming to my house in a few weeks. Just so everyone's aware. I know, Wolfbane. Not a normal boy. What a horror. I firmly gripped his shoulders. <laughs> Raddy's like, no, I have to reach it. What? Uh, um... Sleepover, kind of. Yeah. Shut up, you're not the only one who's confused. After making him shut up, I retraced my steps again. It's a sex over. It's always a sex thing. Wait, I was kidnapped. Someone shoved me into a car. Why are those guys naked? I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Why are they naked? Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. 
I read that as Sextober. Like, stop. Bomber? Yeah, that's some naked looking butt. Why are they not naked? Why aren't we all naked? I mean, to be fair, Wolf, but I could be naked from the wolf that from the wolf down, from the the waist down. Stopped over. Oh, okay, stopped over. My family's not rich, and I'm no one special. Uh, okay. And they're just all regular people, huh? They're all regular people at the beginning of Saw movies too. The wolf, that's what I call it. I mean, it is pretty furry. I mean, what? On the internet, no one knows you're naked. Unless, Becca, like me, you're sitting in front of a webcam. Use the left stick to control the reticle on the screen. When you have a target in your sights, pray that, press the A button to interact with it. RS controls your view. Get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press RB to smack objects. Who knows, you might find something. Pushing LB puts everything back in its original thing. However, not every object can be moved. Wow. There's a lot of there's a lot of story stuff. <gasps> love is hosting me! Hey love! Thank you for that. If you can see me, thank you for all the hype. And hey everybody who is potentially seeing me on Lavender Courage's um channel right now. Um I'm trying out Dangan Rumpa for the first time ever, and we're kind of investigating right now. It's a very weird start to a game, but apparently this is all about creepy horror and like puzzles and stuff. So right now, I'm investigating. The outside of the window window is full of covered with greenery and <gasps> barbed wire. Oh, Raddy, are you hearing me twice as well? Blackboard, but it's not really a blackboard, is it? It's a screen. This blackboard is also an LCD screen. And that's like a proper video monitor. Oh, nothing's being displayed right now. Yeah, this place is fucked up, yo. So, RB smack stuff, huh? Yeah, let's just like smash the classroom, okay. What is going on? You can see me twice. What the hell? Oh, because you've got La Lavender's one open as well. Okay. We tried to open the door. Oh, shit! Hell yeah. Found you. What? A a monster? <laughs> oh, no! This is bad. Okay. Wait, 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 wait! I mean, this thing looks like it's about to kill me. I don't want this. Uh, over here. Oh, LS and RB. Okay. It's run. Oh, you can fully move around. I thought it was like a uh, point and click kind of game. Uh, uh, I'm tempted to smack him on the ass. Is that is that bad? It won't let me smack him on the ass. It won't let me smack him on the ass. That's really annoying. You'll see in Discord, okay. Don't go that way, come over here. I mean, okay. It's not like I'm getting much of a choice. You can move, it's all good. You only usually die in certain game sections. I'm assuming those are like courtroom stuff. I know there's things where you get judgments. Although this looks like, considering the top right has a level one thing, this has like an RPG like level up system maybe? I really don't know much about this game. Right now, all I can do is move and run. It won't smell at me smack him on the ass. That's annoying. I mean, I did say that. We saw something we never expected to see. Oh, more people have arrived. What the shit is that little kid in the back? Oh my god. I mean, these guys don't look too crazy, like anime style. Did you all get chased by that monster too? Oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? I mean, they're all easy to distinguish, you but... you want me to check on what's happening? Oh, shit. Reaction voice. <gasps> you could change your voice? Yeah, that's right. 
You can't. It's, it's likely that monster still lurks nearby. I like the voice what? acting though. I shouted at the top of my lungs. Where are you guys? And why am I here? And that makes sixteen. What? I'm talking about us. There's sixteen of us, all high schoolers. What do you think that means? Sixteen high schoolers? Oh, it's, this is weirdly stylized. All oh, right, it didn't answer your question. Rantaro okay, Rantaro. Rantaro. What? Okay, oh. Rantaro. No. I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is. Hey. Oh look, the angry girl with the big boobs. I'm pretty sure every game and anime has those. An unknown voice echoed throughout the gym. I bet this is Monokuma. The like stuff bare from the beginning. What? It is a very unusual style. Yeah, 2.5D. It's very interesting. Oh shit. Why am I in this? Becca, you're not angry. You're lovely. I am angry boobs. No, you're not. You're I almost said lovely boobs. <laughs> That's that would be a weird thing to say. They have weapons. And they're all different. It wouldn't be fun clicking on playing good for nothing commoners. Oh god. But we're in the reptile. Oh, so the people inside these robots. The bear makes puns. I, I, oh, I like. Oh, yeah. I told you we should have read the script. Why don't we get out of the mechs? Do you think you get to pick which one to sacrifice? Oh shit! It's a whole team of Kumas. Mono Taro, Mono Suke, Mono Fanny, Fanny, Mono Fanny, Mono Dam. Mono kid. Oh god. Oh god, what's happening? The mono cubs? <sighs> if it's anything like the first day, there's trials for murder. Yeah, someone ends up dying and then you, like, find evidence about the other ones as to who did it. But, that may not be true for this one. That one monokuma has a bra. Is it like Voltron? I mean, yeah, she does. You're right. I didn't notice that, but yes. I like that one. What the actual shit just happened? I don't know, Code. It's very weird. Moving stuffed animals. It seems like they're calling themselves the Mono Cubs. Hey, Raffi. How are you doing? How's it been? Oh, it's good to see you here. That one has chest hair. This game is odd. Yeah, it is. Oh, don't oh, bother asking Monodam. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have... Oh. 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 Oh, my God. This is exactly what I thought it was. But who's behind this? They haven't been given their first memory yet? What? What is going on? This is tame for DR. Who the hell are you, punks? What do you mean? Do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? I don't have a talent. They haven't gotten their first memory yet. It's been good. Day off tomorrow. Oh, awesome, Rafi. That's awesome. Have you got anything cool planned? She's sleeping. She's obviously faking it. Yeah, she's faking it. No, she's maybe not faking it. If you guys are in the Mono Cubs, then... <laughs> what is going on here? What is going on here? You've all forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. According to the backstory, there's an ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt. It's pretty much pointless talking to you guys about this. You need to remember your true selves. You need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. 
I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? The music is pretty cute. SJ, who is this? Rafi, I don't know. This ratty person keeps following me around. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This guy named Raddy seems familiar. It's probably because he's followed you around too, Raffy. Right. <laughs> Raffy has been timed out. Raddy, you are such a troll. Oh look, everyone's transforming. I guess everyone does have like special personalities. I was saying they all looked pretty boring. <clears throat> Who said what? No idea, Raddy. Okay, that's more like it. They're all very distinguishable now. Are they all in the right outfits, though? Now you look more like Ultimates. Next up, the memory you've all been waiting for. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. Then sudden news is bizarre. Yeah, Cone, I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. Yeah, September. I like that September's been extended to the 18th. That makes me so happy. September was such a great idea. <laughs> it, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is so weird. Well, from what I was told, it was basically like... Kind of like Ace Attorney, where you were finding clues and proving people innocent, but that when you fucked up or when you when you proved that it wasn't you, at least, or something like that, people died. But I don't know what the hell's going on now. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell over. Are we starting again? Dress differently, though. What the hell is going on? Are we literally just starting? She pinched her cheek. Um. And then the boy falls out of the other locker. You now have your ultimate power. Apparently so. It's too early for upskirts. Raddy, it is never too early for upskirts. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. Although well, his school uniform is looking a lot swankier now. Oh, she shouted at him this time. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, here we go. Okay, what the hell's going on? There's the Cubs again. What the fuck is happening? Well, I do feel like Agnar needs to use that line. What is that? What? Okay. What is going on? I I can't even. Becca Doodles, help me out here. Is this normal? As soon as I said that, this morning club scene started looking at each other and. Say that as Agnar, you're getting a bottle to the face. This is very normal, okay. The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. The score was made for you, 16 credits. There are 16 Ultimates. Yeah, this kind of this is the kind of crap this game likes to pull. Okay, at least I know I'm written for a weird ride. But I chose it as like one of the first games for my horror month. And it doesn't seem very horrifying. Forgetting about your ultimate talent is a waste. Get started exploring the academy. Needs more spoopy. Yeah, I know, Wolfbay. I'm like, I was told these were horror games. So long, farewell. 
Farewell. Shoot. Ultimates used to be super high school level triple X. What? Oh, okay. Hey. Uh... We have to find a way out of here. But that he must be one of the 16 students too. The puns are pleasing though. The puns are pleasing. I don't know why slapping things is getting me coins or whatever. It gets pretty creepy in places. If it's anything like before. They had really good potential and they were really good for their age. Oh, okay. They call me the ultimate detective. Okay, so they've all got special skills. I'm the ultimate pianist. Fuck you, game, for making me say the word pianist on stream. Don't forget you could look through the room more. I remember. I look. Although people don't call me that, they usually call me Piano Freak. Womp womp. I'm waiting for the girls to say they like her skirt, though. Why is that baby so creepy? I know, right, Geeky? She's looking into my soul. The ultimate penis, Raddy. I mean, no, that's me. Wait. <laughs> Wait. How could she be the ultimate penis when she doesn't have a penis? I mean, what? <laughs> They're collecting all of the ultimates. Okay. <laughs> Trying very hard to remember why how we got here. It looks like someone remi removed the memory. It's probably no big deal. We're confused. We need to relax. The ultimate penis. No, that's me. Shit. Obtained a friendship fragment. Yeah! I mean, I have no idea what that is, but okay. I'm just gonna get rid of all the tables, I guess, because that's normal, right? Also, it won't let me slap the kid, so. We woke up inside these lockers, but why were we in the lockers in the first place? I looked at this board before, does it change? No, it's the same thing it said before. I can twist quite far around the room, but I can't see anything different than what I already looked at. Other than, you know, small tables to smack. I don't know why that's so entertaining to me, it just is. You have admission that I am a penis. I mean, yeah, okay. I did say that. I wonder how many friendship fragments you get if you end a friendship. Alright, let's get out of here. Give me your Moogle. Yeah, Wolf Bay, that comes from that comes from uh, Final Fantasy VIII. I really wanted the kids' Moogle card. Even though this is a hallway, there are a lot of plants here. And it feels oppressively heavy. He found a mini tablet inside his pocket. The word monopad is written on it. Oh, God damn it! Hey, Ali, how you doing? I don't know what I'm doing, Ali. But welcome. <laughs> you can level up by performing actions. I got level two. Your skill slots increased. Okay. Enjoy the ride. Hey, Ali, have you, like, already seen this already? Oh, God. I pushed the wrong button. So how do I get through to my... How do I get through to my... Report card.
Uh... <gasps> I pushed a button. The monopad. Here we go. So the thing's got to be in here. Review evidence and witness accounts you've made a record of, and then you can use them as truth bullets. Resume, rev yeah, review whatever personal belongings you have. I have nothing. Review the report card for each person. So this is Kaede, which is me. Skill list. <gasps> oh, okay. So once you get things, you can level them up and get cool stuff. Increases the amount of influence recovered. Cool and composed. I can't afford anything yet, though. I've only got one fragment. So I guess the more friends I become, the more people I become friends with, the more friendship things I unlock. Awesome. I haven't gone to the first investigation yet. Okay. I have literally... I mean, I've only just like started. So I'm just exploring at the moment. That looks like the music room. She'll be interested in that. Cone winning for 900 cogs. Cone extending the lead, I think. That's the only real point of talking to people, isn't it? Getting free stuff. <laughs> it won't open, but this room does look like it's made for me. Oh, crap. Here come the bears. Here are the monocubs. Ah, oh, here again. What do you think this place is? Check out all this fancy writing. It seems like a place for eggheads. This is an ultimate research lab? So I guess I can get more uh, better at my ultimate skill? Becca's just messing with him. I can't wait until you meet me. Oh no. Remember, kids, mod abuse is only acceptable when it's funny. It's true. But if there are rooms like this for everyone, I guess that guy was would be the detective room. But I guess I can't get into my my ultimate lab yet. Raddy timed out doodles for two seconds. There we go. I mean, it is pretty funny. SJ should be happy with the amount of bear puns. Also, when people talk, I can actually like give them give them different responses to give them different feelings. Was that the classroom I just came out of? It is the classroom I just came out of. I don't really want to be here now. I'd like to leave again. <laughs> These guys. I know, right, Doodles? I got to hang out with Doodles and Cone most of the weekend this weekend. It was pretty cool. Okay, so there's not much in that way. The other classroom's locked. The pianist's room is locked. Oh, look, another student. It was like, I really liked um, the bear puns in from Kuma in Persona 4? Persona 4. He made some amazing bear puns. Hello? I don't think that's the case. I poked her cheek and felt her, her skin squish. Maybe she's just a doll. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. Wow, what a kinky thing to say. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone since August. I know, Becca, but I'm going to try and see you soon. I got to meet Sean and Cone and Cody, but I don't think she's in chat at the moment. No, she's not. You'll either hate or love the characters. There is no in-between. I thought if I ignored you, just go away let me think. I mean, Ali, I can imagine there are some that I'm going to love and some that I'm going to despise. Absolutely. My favourite Doraemon episode is number 53. Can you tell us your name, maybe? She's the ultimate cosplayer. I'm so plain. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. It's because you've got people ogling your curves on a daily basis. Jesus, Katie. I just like making cosplay for other people. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. Do 
Jesus Christ, she's got class. Oh my God. She's try. She's like Jessica Negri, but with you know her stuff covered up. It's good to meet you, dude. I was also gone there, Rafi. I'd fuck it. I'd fucking yeah. Better get to meet you sometime. We we'll, we all have to hang out like sometimes. Seriously. Ah, oh, that bronze dragon statue over there. I'm curious about it. This game got meta real fast. I know, right? She's like, I'm a cosplayer who has sponsors. It's almost like Patreon is a thing. <laughs> Hashtag clock, 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 con. We had a mini clock, clock, con. Seriously, when Doodles and Cone walked into the room and Cody was there, it was like, oh my god, I've got like three of my viewers in one room. It makes me happy. <laughs> and yeah, I've met Raddy before. I was very lucky. Raddy was in the same town as me. Does Kaida just fancy her? Or like, what? what's going on? People say I'm carefree. I'm yawning, I'm sorry. I'm still tired from the weekend. Oh, I've got a friendship fragment. Yeah. That means I've got two. That means I might have a skill I can unlock. Because I've got two now, and there were some, I'm sure there were some that cost two. Downshift slows the speed of the reticle. Upshift increases the speed of the reticle. I, okay, so the ones I can do are pretty pretty crappy ones for now. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. You've been unfortunate enough to know me for five or six years. Why do you say unfortunate? You're friggin' awesome, Becca. The only good part of being there was meeting you and Ray. Oh, Raddy, I know. I know the town's awful and what you had to do during the time you were here was terrible. Yeah, I'm the ultimate detective. There's a dragon statue. Why is there a dragon statue? I don't know. Thanks, 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 dude. You're you're good at being a detective. I'm gonna hit it. Can I, I can't hit it. I can't hit it in the hallway. Okay. I can't slap things randomly in the hallway. Apparently. SJ's known me for eight years. I have. I have indeed. Eight whole years. Wow. Okay, okay, let's, let's, there's bathrooms here. Let's, let's go look in the bathrooms, because that's normal, right? On the upside, I beat a few paras on a loaded march. Raddy, that's hilarious. Especially since you, one of the things you were here for was recovery from, from injury, you know, like in physiotherapy. You were beating paras on marches, that's awesome. Yeah, I want to work on stuff, but I don't want to get into it while I'm packing away soon. I get that, Becca. You're moving house soon, so you don't want to get too... Oh good, I'll beat up that toilet, that's good to know. What's this electric thing? Well, let me look. I can hit that box though. And soap dispensers. Alright. Is there anything I can actually look at in here? Why is this one thing connected to the electronics? I know there's another monitor in here, but that's... I made a mistake and made a start on P5 Morgana's head. <gasps> You're making Morgana? That's awesome. Well, yeah, I'd like to leave the bathroom. Bathroom's crap. Gotta say, the interaction in this game is amazing. Hands down. Was that a, was that a pun because I was shooting hands? Like, hitting things in this game is basically like shooting guns out of your... Out of the screen. Coins should let you buy items later that improve friendships. Oh good, it's good to know that they're useful for something. And I'm not just beating up the walls for no reason. Classroom A. Oh god, don't mention Morgana, hashtag triggered. Yeah, reset the clock. This has been a weird, weird weekend. Hey, wait for me. Don't come any closer. The boy in white is chasing the other boy in the funny clothes. What the hell is going on? Okay, okay, okay. You. What's happening? Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. What is it? Are you another robo? He's a robot! If you make any robophobic remarks, I'll see you in court. No. Stop. Do not compare me to the monocubs. I'm not an old robot. I, 
There's... I... <sighs> that little devil. My robo-father will hear of this. Oh my god. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Sure. You can't be the ultimate supreme leader. What the fuck? That's not a skill. I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. It does not smell like gasoline. I'm powered by electric. What the hell is going on? That boy is essentially Stalin. I think you should have just watched up, watch stand up instead of... Oh my god. I may have the appearance of a robot, but I'm a high schooler like you. Yeah. He installed in me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing. I didn't know anything when I was created. I was like a baby. But he raised me like a child. How about this? Hey. hey, do robots have dicks? Cone, this kid is you. That would literally be how you reacted. I didn't realize Kim Jong-un is in this game. Damn it, doodles. What would everyone's ultimate be here? Introduce yourself and your ultimate. What would I be? That's a good point. What would you? What ultimates would you guys be? What would be your ultimate talent? And then if that, what would be your ultimate talent? And what do you think I, my ultimate talent would be? What would I be? The ultimate blank. I'm gonna keep moving with the game, but have a think about it, guys. What would your ultimate skill be? It's a fair question, but it wouldn't be my first question. What would be your first question, Karen? You're pretty flaccid for a robot, Jesus Christ. Why are you the supreme leader? I'm the supreme leader of an evil, evil secret organization. Ali will be the ultimate debater. But Ali, are you a mass debater? Do you just debate with one person or many? Because if, if you debate with many, you are a mass debater. Yes. Cone is the ultimate slut. Geeky says I'm the ultimate streamer. I can't be the ultimate streamer. There are so many better streamers than me. Doodles, the ultimate analytic because I overanalyze everything. I'm glad Becca said the master debater. <laughs> Sean could be the ultimate sex machine. Wow, doodles. Wow. Because I'm a liar. Huh? It's true. Jeez. <laughs> so he's a supreme liar. <laughs> oh shit. Robots aren't people. Oh my god. Everyone in the str everyone in the uh Oh I got did I get did I get friendship fragments for both of them? Because that would be a that'd be four I've got. Best kind of trash though if you insist on that geeky. Raddy is the ultimate raddy. I mean, I could call, tell you guys what I think you are ultimately by, you know, what I think of you. Increases maximum influence a little. Effective during all parts of the class trial. Extraordinary focus. Increases maximum focus. I don't want, I don't know what focus and influence are yet. There are a lot of, for, of things that cost four though. Mind's eye. Reveals V points. I don't know what a V point is. Silence is all conversations except those who was on. Oh my god, I've got so many things, but I don't know what they do yet. So I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Please, I want to know. Becca, you are the ultimate creative. And then there's Geeky, who is the ultimate videographer. Becca is the ultimate felter. Yes. I know you do more than felting, so I'm with creative. Creative is actually fair, Geeky. Felting was just the first thing that came to head. Came to my head. Well, I've got a head on the brain. Doodle, my advice. Yeah, wait until after the first trial. Yeah, that's my thought. Becky, your creations are stunning, though. I agree with that. Yeah, there's more barbed wire. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? I mean, it's a fair question. Ultimate designer. Oh, that's a good one. I just have to smash up every desk in this classroom. Oh, thank you for the follow, Kirito. 
Hope you're doing okay. If you're here, if you're watching. You might not be, you might be hanging out somewhere else. Watching through someone else's stream. I still don't, I still don't know what mine would be. Let's back out of this room. Yeah, let's back out of this room. Ah. Although I don't think Doodle's right. I do not think. <laughs> there are stairs here, but it's going down to the basement. What should we do, Shuichi? Do you want to go down? SJ is the ultimate bear. SJ should be the ultimate listener. Oh, wolf bear. That's quite sweet. The ultimate listener. That's lovely. The ultimate story creator. Oh, Ali. That's quite sweet, too. Yeah, Kaede is too carefree. She's like, oh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. You're, you're literally, I mean, oh, this is this looks like it's for video games. The game room. <gasps> well, I found my favorite room in the game already. Oh, huh? I was about to say storyteller or writer for SJ. Thank you, Kiki. Ultimate assistance, because you always try and help people. That's quite sweet, too. Okay, let's talk to the little then. He's weird looking. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. You've still got a ways to go. Is that that guy's voice? Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, Erin, how are you doing? However, huh? It's an old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the. He's the ultimate tennis pro. <gasps> the ultimate streamer. Oh, Ali. So seriously, you guys have said some lovely things about me tonight. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down the mafia. He shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. Jesus Christ. Um. Jeez. Huh? No. More importantly. Wow, that kid's voice is deep. Awesomely fabulous as always. Good to hear it, Erin. What have you been up to lately? How's your day been? Welcome to my channel. I am Clockwork SJ. It's good to see you here. Not much to look about in this room, considering. Since you've never played a Danganronpa game, I will say one thing. Oh no. Don't look at the punishments. Oh, are the punishments the really gory things that happen? I don't know what you can and can't hit. I'll go through the sliding door in a second. Is there anything else to see in this room? Other than talk to the detective? <laughs> they are brutal. Hey, SJ, go look at the punishments. They're the best parts. I don't like it. Are the punishments what happens after the trials? I, I literally like don't know much about this game at all. <sighs> Looks like this one's locked too. They're very brutal, but also my favorite part. Yeah. Becca, you sound... That, that, that's dark. I mean, to be honest, if I can watch Higurashi and Inako Korani, I can deal with this. Punishments are ways to kill the killers. Oh shit. Oh, okay. You can kill the killers in this game? That's that's dark. Which is very brutal. Yeah, I can imagine Aaron. Wow. Yeah, okay. The map says there isn't a door here. Um This door barely opens a crack. Okay. Fair enough. This is the library. Punishments of whoever sound guilty, which is brutal, and it's usually done in ironic ways. Oh, Higurashi, what a series. Seriously, first thing my brother ever showed me of Higurashi was the scene where the little girl takes the knife, holds it against the wall, and just starts headbutting it. It's like, the fuck is this? That is like a child headbutting a knife. God. If this game is like the others, it goes usually, someone kills someone, they hold a trial, you find the killer, and then they get punished. You have to be found innocent. If the guilty person gets away with murder, they all die, or they did in the first one. Oh shit! You're right. Uh, no. Huh? This no. is very disorganized. I agree. First thing I saw was the fingernail removal. Oh shit, Wolfbear. Yeah, that was pretty harsh too. There's only two things that really bother me in like in terms of gore, and that's fingernail removal and teeth being pulled out. Oh, 
Ugh. Umineko. Oh, you liked Umineko and Anako Korini? I mean, yeah, fair. Are you the ultimate, an ultimate student too? Yes. Is that it? Come on. I'm the ultimate pianist. Stop making me say pianist. Jeez. I'm not the ultimate detective. Okay. I'm not the ultimate. I am the ultimate detective. Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Ultimate child caregiver? What even are these titles? Surprised? I don't look like someone who'd care for kids, do I? That's right. You'd be right, I don't actually like kids that much. I don't care. Kids are weird, they come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them and I'm not friendly. Hey. Mm -hmm. You've chosen a perfect career. Wrong. It wasn't my oh. choice. So what? It's just that I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Um. Someone's got to be controlling the monocubs. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have figured out what's going on? Um, yeah. He should be better about this, I agree. Well. The ultimate penis. No, that's me. Thanks, Raddy. <laughs> Best babysitter ever. I fucking hate kids. Don't like kids. Hashtag ultimate child caregiver. <laughs> You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. How did I get a friendship fragment from that? She's horrible to me. And she's just vanished. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. I agree. I think some of these people have uh, made mistakes. I bet one of these bookshelves is fake. I like the globe, though. You can't solve mysteries without evidence. I know, but... Meh. The best detectives usually have it already figured out, but then need evidence. When they said the ultimate child caregiver, I thought they meant she was actually giving birth. It's not a bad assumption, it's kind of creepy, right? But these are some of the weirdest ultimate names ever. What's next? A person who's the ultimate p ultimate putting IKEA furniture together. -er. You're right. These are weird. No. Let's investigate the room. I am, and I'm smacking books. Doing some investigating. Smacking some book piles. There's a light on and there's bios and there's books stacked here, so I mean it's obvious there was someone here reading, right? And there's another monitor. Hey Esha, how you doing? Wait, make that three games in an anime. Yeah, no, for real. They they they've been pretty good at this. I'm not seeing anything else in this. Oh, oh, there's other. There's, I mean, that's the door I came in. Clearly, what they don't have is the ultimate name or You're right, Kane. Good, thanks. How's everyone else doing? I'm okay, Esha. I'm tired from LARP still, but otherwise, good. Let the despair begin. Oh no, Ali, what's happening? Is there bad stuff happening? Oh, I went out the fucking wrong door. <laughs> I just got done casting my latest project and I'm super stoked. Dude, that sounds awesome. Do you not get any coins if you go back into the room? I, make a, I guess that makes sense. I have heard many good things about this weekend and you look badass too. Oh, thank you, Esha. I really appreciate that. That's sweet. Can we make SJ the ultimate bear? Mostly the fuck with the monokumas. I mean, I don't want to get on the wrong side of the monokumas, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'd like the monokumas to not hate me, please. Okay, well, that's pretty much the basement dealt with. But thank you very much, Esha. Have you done much for the weekend? Slap them books. Erin, so far, it's been, like, the, the... Pretty much my only goal of the game. Uh... 
Was that always locked? I guess it must have been. It didn't really look that way earlier. I just leveled up and I'm not even sure why. I think I was just running down the corridor. I'm sad I can't go in that courtyard though. It's pretty nice looking. Maybe that's where the... I mean, that's pretty central. Maybe that's where the trials are going to be held. You can level up by running. I mean, I guess I can see that the level's going up slowly, but I didn't realize that running is enough to do that. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm back in the hallway with the dragon and the crazy chick. Have I, like, really missed something? This is the classroom I came from. Classroom C was locked earlier. Yep. I've been in bed ill all weekend. I'm still ill now, but got through my evening by drinking heavily and making critical judgments about people's voices. Oh, was that for the uh, for the voice rolls? That's awesome. Check the boys' bathroom. Yeah, you're right, Wolf Bear. I haven't gone in there yet. Naruto running equals level up. Sold. Oh, I haven't been in the cafeteria. I haven't been down this way. I'll go in the boys' bathroom first because it's here and I might as well. Um... <laughs> Oh, it won't let. Are you, are you serious? Remember. He's gonna go in and check it because she's being weird about going into the boys' bathroom. I see. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear you're ill, Asha. A few of us are ill too. I was pretty ill before the weekend, and my stomach's pretty bad now. But that's probably because you know what LARPs are like. Sometimes I, sometimes at LARPs I eat tons. Sometimes I eat barely anything. Um, so I'm a bit... Ugh. Oh, you could go through that? I didn't mean to. I wanted to explore things first. I mean, she's not a guy, to be honest. That's a pretty legit thing. I don't know. Like, when you're in a murder cult, like... What does it matter? If you're in a murder house, it doesn't mean you have to stop being polite. I mean, I, gu I guess so, Erin. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I'm like, really old. Raddy, I'm so sorry to hear that. Raddy um, said earlier that he's got a chest infection. And if any one of you has had a chest infection, they're pretty horrible. Well, this guy's kind of attractive and being very laid back, so... He's probably going to end up being the m most ultimate bad guy. <laughs> Amnesia is a stretch. Or it could be group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. He got a little bit creepy there. I like him now. I've forgotten my own talent. Oh, he doesn't remember his talent still. I know it must have been some kind of ultimate. I just can't remember what one. I don't think that's true. We all know now. Chest infections suck ass. It's something I get easily. I know, Becca, you do. I don't get them very often. When I do, it hits my asthma so hard. Get well soon, Raddy. Yes. When you're in a murder cult, does it really matter? I'm trying to work out what genre this game is. It's like an FPS dating sim. Okay, um, Esha, have you ever played like uh, Ace Attorney or Phoenix Wright kind of the Phoenix Wright kind of games? There's evidence, there's trials and stuff in this, but it's a visual novel with trials and horror. We don't know his name and we don't know his talent. We've got a special snowflake here. I know, right, Erin? He looks like an anime protagonist or an anime villain. The doctor gave me antibiotics for the first time in ten years, but wouldn't sign me off work. Oh, Rad, are you serious? My name is Rantaro Mon. Are you at least doing something desk related for a while? But I promise I'm not back. Oh, we've got his name now at least, but we don't know what it is. For someone who can't remember his talent, it doesn't seem too shaken up. Huh? Looking forward to it. He's looking forward to it. I thought he would be a chill guy to talk to, but he's being creepy. The ultimate amnesiac. I didn't go back to work after the docs today. Good, Rowdy. I'm, I'm glad you at least got today off work. The school shop. He's a red herring. He's not the bad guy. Oh, no. He's not really going to be the bad guy. The bad guy's going to end up being Monokuma. But when people start dying, he seems too... He seems too nice. Dining hall. And what's this one? The warehouse. Let's go in the dining hall first. Did you meet the ultimate feminist, a.k.a. Tenko? I don't think so yet. Oh, there's three new ones here. 
Is this a dining hall? A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like the school. But this place is called the Ultimate Acad Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's like a normal school. Well, for start, there is grass growing out of the floor. Ahem. It took me three hours to go from my house to get into this. Jesus Christ, Raddy. That's horrible. I'm so sorry. Speak of the devil. Shibuba man. <laughs> Hello. I'm not scared. I'm just a pain. Something like this might make me panic because I'm a mage. I haven't told you guys yet. Her voice is annoying. Surprise, Thank you for the follow, Shibu. Shibuba man. She's a magician, not a mage. If anyone has played this before, please avoid spoilers. The way they're handled, the sprites in this is really interesting. I wonder if this is a custom engine. She'll make you want to tear your ears off. Oh, that's annoying. You're just a magician. That's a bruise. I'm actually a mage. There's a group called the Magic Castle, or the Hall of Magicians. I was the youngest person to ever win, win the Magician of the Year award. They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. So she thinks she's doing actual magic. <laughs> Ku loved her from what I remembered. Are these char these aren't characters from past games, are they? Magic lovers. Yeah. If I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just normal magic tricks. <laughs> nope. So how does Ku know about about them? Ku hasn't played this game. I don't think. Okay. I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Did you know you can unblock your brain's full potential by yelling? I must be prepared for combat at all times. I'll protect myself with Neo Aikido. Oh, this is the one you were talking about, Erin. Oh, the voice actors were in previous games. It's the same voice actors, but new characters. Got ya. Oh, shit. Confirm if you... Oh, I can do... How, do I... How did I do that? Oh! Shoulder buttons do stuff. How did I... Oh, cool. It fit the designs when they came out. You know, her design is cute. Her voice is annoying. I always imagine Aikido masters to be big, burly guys, but you're cute. Oh, shit. Stop it. I'm not cute. My face crinkles when I suck down a shake, and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. I think she's cute. Oh god, what's that face? I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up. Oh, this is me. This is so. Is this you, Wolf Bay? Huh? That's some pretty strange bodily symptoms. Uh, yeah, it. When you wipe your face, your eyelids turn inside out. What the fuck? I don't want her friendship fragment. She's she's scaring me. Ugh. Has it been abandoned for a long time? That's what I was thinking with all the grass. There's rules? The rules for the dining hall. You may eat any food you find in the dining hall. Clean up the dishes. Dining hall will be locked at night time. I mean, those are pretty normal kind of rules. Yeah, smack the chair. I don't, I don't. She can deform her face to double the smugness. Now that is an art. That is an art. That is, that is pretty special. 
Right, let's check out the warehouse next. What is what is this game so far? Like, this game is so friggin' weird. I do like the art style, though. Oh, who's this? Oh, I love her. We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with chemicals. <gasps> what are you looking for? Don't sneak up on me, bitch. I literally just met you and you've already called me a bitch. Hey, hey crotch rot, are you staring at my tits? I love this woman so much. It is angry boobs. It's the one I said earlier has big tits and is angry. <laughs> a guy like you can only dream of landing a big boobed hottie like me. God damn. So get yourself a good eye for. What the hell? Wow. Wow. She knows you well, SJ. I mean... Wow! <laughs> Jesus Christ, this woman's crazy. I love her. I can identify pervs on sight and you are definitely a fucking perv. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. She is wearing a harness, though. Like, can you see that? Like, she's definitely wearing a harness and a collar. She's got some kink going. She literally shouted fucking virgin at me. <laughs> That's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. Uh, but everyone wears pants. <laughs> Only pervs wear hats. Oh, he feels so uncomfortable. Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. What the hell are you getting pissed off at me for? Tell the world you're sorry. What the shit is happening? Your vulgar language is uncalled for. Who are you? I want to cosplay her butt, but what? She's not wrong. I mean... <laughs> I'm kind of in love with her. Is that weird? Ultimate ego. I, I, I kind of love this chick. She invents things that let you read while you sleep, write while you sleep, eat while you sleep. I, I like her. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. Although this one time I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gag. That invention was nothing. Oh my god. Becca, you can cosplay someone's butt. That harness though. I know, right? That's an, aw that's an awesome harness. And look at the barbed wire necklace she's got going on. And her goggles? I friggin' love her. I gotta find some meds. Are you sick? No, idiot. I need some strong meds because I want to trip my fucking balls off. I love this girl so much. I just want to set my mind free and forget all about this sit shitty situation. That is an orgasm face she is pulling right there. Oh my god. Do it, Becca. Cosplay her. You gotta do it. You shouldn't use drugs to get high. Are you done being mad at me? One minute she's swearing and screaming at me, the next minute she's crying. They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. I'm pretty sure I've had exes like this. Actually, I think I dated someone like this. Snap. <laughs> What's up with Shuichi? He's been quiet ever since Mew mentioned his hat. I love her. I want to talk to her more. Leave me alone. I'm busy. Oh, I knew that was going to end up happening, but I'm so sad. A ball for shot put? This place must have something to do with sports somewhere then. With mats. There's a remote control helicopters. <gasps> those are drones. Those are, those are drones? That's gonna hit. There's a lot, of, a lot of weird things in here. There's hurdles too. So there's got to be like a full, a full like track and field place. I don't know what I'm even hitting anymore. Oh, that works. Nothing else to look at. Nope. Not really. Okay. <laughs> Basic Mew character sheet. Pervert. Well, in that case, Aaron, I am also Mew. 
I mean, I'm not really a bear, but I'm kidding, of course. That's, that's what I'm doing. Yes. Kidding. I guess I guess this part of the game is just find everyone and talk to everyone, get to know every every of the, every one of the characters. That has a question mark in front of it, so I'm not going in there yet because that looks important. And just as we were talking about track and field, this looks like it could be a gym. There we go, gym. Is this the gym? Oh, it's locked. Oh no, my head. Thank you for the follow, Aaron. This is called the exposition part. Yeah. No. We get to know the characters and we get to know some of the story. Uh, okay. I feel like I've been here before. Could it be... Well, considering all of our memories and stuff. Yeah, we could be here. Um, because... I mean, the first game just assaulted you with faces and prayed you remembered half of them. Alimia new sub hype? No, Alimia has been a. Uh, I mean, like Alimia has kept up the sub, but Alimia is one of my was one of my first subs actually. Ali's just kept it going like the whole time. Oh, this is locked too. Oh, really? I'm out of places to look now. I think I. I mean, I feel like I've been everywhere, but I haven't met everyone yet. Ali, this is Esha. Esha, this is Ali. <laughs> I know for a fact that Ellie's really, uh, Ellie, Ali is really interested in uh, Dagan Rompa games. So I was like poking Ali earlier and saying like, what should I be expecting? Oh, the Iron Gate's open. There's a map in the pause menu. No, I know. But I've, I've, I've been most places. I just haven't been in the entrance hall yet. That's the front door, but that won't open. If you walk through it, we can escape this place. <gasps> oh, I like their... Oh, no. I, I was going to say I like their outfit, but actually, taking a step back, it looks kind of like a Nazi me Nazi uniform. I've been reading a lot of novels lately, so I lost track of time. Ali, is this you? You wonder who is this? Yes, I should make that clear first. A Nazi gimp. Ali saying it's me right before Wolfbake calls him a Nazi gimp is hilarious. He looks like he's... I mean, that's not a swastika, but it's like a Nazi arm man on his arm, too. Studies customs, legends, folktales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, which origins of which you don't know. Erin is the ultimate Nazi, apparently. Anthropology sheds light on different traditions and customs. It's a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. I get it, but not really. It's a study. Of, it's the study of humanity. And I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Our present situation is intriguing. Is People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, and turns out he is one too. Ali, are you sure you don't want to revise your previous statement? Sure. The moment your hopes are shattered, that should be beautiful too. Let's just walk out the front door then, shall we? Should Humans we... are fun creatures to watch. Nope. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Determined as I was, I couldn't muster the courage to step forward. Are you okay? Move forward, Clayade. You can do it. Push open the doors and... Upon opening the doors, we were greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind and... Oh, a cage. Oh, a wall? It's so weird. The cage surrounded the entire school. I like that commitment. I know, right, Wolfbear? Yay! It's the Kuma... It's the, it's the Kuma Cubs. I want... Is actual Monokuma in this? First time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to surprise. Imagine if every time you were surprised, your, your teeth and fingernails fell out. I can see why it's called the end wall. 
that ward is the end of the world. There's nothing to explain, that's just how it is. You can't get out of here. The wall has no entrances or exits and it can't be climbed or demolished. An ultimate should pro could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. Eren, can't you pass through the gates? They're pretty big. I mean, yeah! Sorry everyone, I'm gonna have to crash out. I feel so ill again. My body aches and hurts all over. Geeky, you better not be pushing yourself too hard at work again, but do please go rest. She's screaming. For all my shouting, there was no response. Have a good night, Geeky. That's right. No one can hear you anyway. Wait. Hey. Damn it. Monotime is ignoring them excellently because he refuses to open his heart. You can thank my bullying for making that happen. Oh, he crushed Monodam. What is this? You bastards have to use your hands, legs, and eyes to figure that out. The school is still under construction. Aren't they still in the middle of building this school? It looks like they're renovating an abandoned school. The Exisals now work on construction to support their wife and kids. Do robots really need their backstory? Ugh. <laughs> They've given their robe. They've given their mecha backstories. There they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't go over that wall, and no one is coming to rescue us. Come on, let's do this. We got this. We got this. I slapped him upside the head. Thank you, Mr. Gulo, for the follow. That's appreciated. Come on, we've got, we've, we've got to, someone, they got us in here somehow, so there's got to be a way out. It's true. They got us in here somehow. I saw a person pop up. I didn't, I didn't miss that. So I thought I'd have a quick look around here. First, just another monitor. What's over there? Oh, there's another path over there. Let's, let's deal with the person first. Hey, buddy. Wait, are you guys complaining? Quit complaining or grind grumbling or it'll turn into a habit. Oh, I like this guy. I haven't introduced myself, my bad. I was wrong about the engine, it works completely differently to how I thought. So interesting though. See, Esha, that's why I like people that study video games. When you play a video game, you like are constantly looking for how it works. An astronaut in training. <laughs> he was supposed to have been a university to take the exam. He faked a university degree. I like this guy. I like his hair. His hair is my favorite thing. Look at his hair. He looks like a bird. I'm so easily like, all right, there's a dormitory, I can go in there later. I'm so easily distracted by things. Okay. There's a log blocking that path. This takes me back into the dining hall. Okay, I've been in the dining hall before. We. I'll tell you what, Kaede runs pretty fast. I'm not gonna go in the dormitories yet though. Finish exploring outside. If he's an astronaut in training, how is he the ultimate astronaut? You see, Erin, Things like that really bother me. Like, I don't get it. Like, how can he be the ultimate astronaut if he's never even left, like, been in space? Because he aced a test for older people. I mean, that's true, Becca, but he's never been, he'd ne he's never even been in space. How can he be the ultimate astronaut? Because all the astronauts are dead? Wow. Whoa, look at this buff dude. Ah. Huh? Gonta, scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. So like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Aww. Gonta's lovely. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. It's physically and mentally straining to be an astronaut. It's true. Yeah. Apologies. I had a hair in my mouth. He is the Hulk. 
He reminds me of Broly from Dragon Ball Z. The Barras in these are always my fave. Wasn't there a female like that was like like this, but like really hench as well? Oh, look how cute Gonter is. Oh, Gonta started liking bugs. That's why Gonta got into entomology. Yeah, Zakora. Yeah, Zakora. That's what I was thinking of. Gonta knows word. Gonta knows the word entomologist, but Gonta doesn't know sentence structure. I love her uh, English voice. Oh, Zakora is. Yeah. One day, Gonta go forest to find bugs. End up lost. It took them ten years though to find me. But Gonta fine. New family took care of Gonta. Wolves. Gonta was raised by wolves. Wow. Huh. There's all these there's all these plants but no bugs. What's your favorite bug? You, oh my god! He is a Dragon Ball Z character! <laughs> I wasn't saying I like bugs. Then do you hate bugs? Now he's Yami Bakura. You hate bugs. You don't hate bugs. You love them, right? Of course I do. I love bugs. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, if you like bugs, you can't be a bad person. Okay, Gonta. Okay. Gonta smash. I wonder if that's what Gonta shouts when you have sex. Was that too far? <laughs> the fuck? Is this a ninja statue? Why is it here? I mean, seriously? Why is there a ninja statue here? That's so friggin' weird. I thought that was a person to talk to. Another monitor? What is this? I haven't even gone to the dormitories yet. I'm just exploring. <gasps> the Shrine of Judgment. I guess this is where the trials happen. Oh, hi. Oh, look how cute she is! My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. <gasps> oh, she's gonna turn out to be horrible, isn't she? Because she's too nice. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. Atua says so. The god of my island, Atua, is always speaking to me. I paint paintings and sculpt sculptures. But Atua is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. Now, she just wants you to enter her cult. It does feel like that, Erin. Will you make an offering? Every Monday and Wednesday morning, a truck comes to collect offerings. But don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. What the actual fuck? So, when she says the trucks come to pick up the offerings... Oh, what did I do? I did a thing. I didn't mean to do that. What the hell was that? I pushed the wrong button. I guess that's what you do when you're scanning for evidence, maybe? Does she paint with the blood? That is a worry. Welcome to Dangan Rumpa. Ali, are they all this weird? This place is in much better shape than the school. Yeah, I'd like to leave, please. Yep, they're all this they're all this weird. Well, like, with as obsessed as my brother was with with Dagan Romper, and as obsessed as, like, I know a lot of friends of mine are, I guess, I mean, there's got to be really cool parts coming up, right? Because <laughs> so far, it's just, I'm just, like, getting to know everybody. There's not been a murder or anything yet, and I'm assuming there's gonna be. There are, some are more crazy than others. There are only different levels of craziness. It's very nice to see you. Oh, 
Oh, hello, bear. Oh, okay, I love these guys. This is your home, you bastards. We finished setting up the showers. Wait, do you go number two in the shower? Oh. I actually just started playing the first one a few days ago. I need the second one and this one. Ah, oh, Becca. It feels rather slower than the other games, but suppose it's done deliberately to give you a chance to get to know the new people. Yeah. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Oh, hi there, weird person who's blending into the background. <gasps> oh, they're cute. I like them. I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. Huh. I have not introduced myself yet. The ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. I would let that maid service me all day. I am somewhat in love. I've heard of Kirimi Tojo, an inc ultimate with incredible intellect and strength. I heard that her work is so perfect she can complete any request given to her. I will not complete any request. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but I rejected it. That's true. I changed my mind. I want to cosplay this girl. I want to be this girl too. I think I dated someone like this once too. <laughs> Quote added, I would let that maid service me all day. <laughs> yeah, fair. I have one. I've only been employed as a maid, not as a bodyguard. Hmm. What should we do now? I, do I hold no opinions or desires. Yeah, my desire is to fulfill the desires of others. Think of what you desire from yourself and what you desire from me. No matter what the situation, I'm here to serve everyone. Mm. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm in love with two people in this game for two different reasons. Oh. Sorry, I'm a little overcome. Between her and the kind of steampunk looking pink haired girl who is crazy aggressive and crazy in general and intelligent. I'm just whew, too slow. Just rest up, Raddy. Yes, yeah, seriously, Raddy. Take a break. Relax. You are lo you love one for being a top and the other for being a bottom. I like maid and I like angry boobs. Yep, that's exact. Erin, you're not even wrong. I like the other one because I'm like, yep, I'd let her dominate me. And I like this one because, yep, I'd let her service me. I can't believe those were sentences I said out loud. Let me just shut up and look at the monocubs. Okay. Thanks for bearing with us. Ah! I love the bear puns. You All right. Make your way to the gym, please. The opening ceremony can begin. Hey. <sighs> Look at the puppets. Yeah, I know. They're so freaking cute. Hey. I mean, they're so freaking cute, apart from the fact that, you know, they're going to end up with most of us dead because of them. So we've got to get back to the gym. Oh, look at the, look at the little doors with our faces on them. Okay, it won't let us go in any of them yet. And now we've hit the plot. <laughs> Woo, plotage. Now well, let's go for the plot. But yeah, no, seriously, I'm kind of in love with two different people for two very different reasons. Right, now to go back inside and we'll head to the gym. Now, I can't remember exactly which way the gym is. Keo, the secret Nazi, and I would get on very well. Ali, you do both like studying humans. That's for sure. Let's go in the map. Right, the gym is... I think down... Oh, no, yeah, the gym's right... The, the gym's the long way around. Okay. That's fine. Bum, 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 da, 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 da. Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 da. I and mean, that's the room we can't go in yet. Okay. Fine. I'll go to the gym. We're gonna get we're gonna get into the plot just in time for like the game to stop for the night. 
Because tomorrow it's Dungeons and Dragons. I can't continue this tomorrow. Do you agree? All 16 of us have gathered. Oh, oh that laugh. You can use amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff? Magic. I'm a mage. Oh my god. Please wait. Please don't. It'll be okay. Fucking moron. Oh. Leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves are gonna kick their asses. What's wrong? See? Can you hear that? It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Oh look, they've showed up in their mechs this time. Finally here properly, how's it been going? Hey Rose! I have fallen in love with two characters in this game already. It's very fucking weird this game, but we're just meeting the characters really. You get to know the characters really well, and then people start dying and you start figuring out who's doing the killing. You're just in time for the plot to actually start. Didn't someone say they'd kick their asses? Oh shit. Rantaro is so calm. Oh awesome, which two characters? There's one who's incredibly aggressive, who is an inventor, and is also a pervert, and I adore her for being all like, in charge. And there's another one who's the ultimate maid, and she's very submissive. And I love them both for being completely opposite. Like. I can't even handle it. It's a killing game. <gasps> Monodam spoke. Huh? Me you slash angry boobs on the maid. It's a killing game. Okay. What are you saying? Oh no. Now they all are angry at each other. What the hell's going on? Did they really just use the word jabroni in a video game? Clock, I would love to send the actual art of me in this game. It's kind of funny. <laughs> well, Erin, if you um, if you ask Becca, Becca can give you the link to our Discord. If you want to join our Discord, you can put you can put pictures up in the photograph section. Either way, it's too dangerous. Now, now, now. But if you wanna if you wanna join the Discord, Aaron, just uh um then uh blah 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 words. And Ali, you've got a folder of Miu images. I would like Miu images and I would like made images in the Discord, please, because I love those both. <laughs> Spoil me, please. My cute little cats. <gasps> Is this actual Monokuma? Is this the big boss Monokuma? Oh wait, I gotta do a thing. Give me a thing. Do not capture the cursor, that's so annoying. Can I send one in the chat? We don't have an, an NSFW channel, that is true, Esha. Yet. <laughs> Do you want to just send one in the chat, Aaron? Um. Okay. As long as it's not a, it's not, a, like, sexual picture, is it? As long as it's an okay picture, it's, it's as long as it's a safe for work picture. Then I'm sure Becca can give you permission to do that before, so that the bot won't won't uh, block you. Oh, here we go! All of us meeting Monokuma. Oh, he's got wings now! Look at him! I don't like that yet. Yeah, sure, I don't mind having an, an SFW channel. I am the god of this new world! There you go, Erin. You can post that if, with, as long as you post it within the next 60 seconds. Although, if you do want to join the... Uh... Oh my god! Look at all the inventions she's got on! I'm in, I'm in love with her even more. She's got spiky boots. 
<gasps> oh my god. I love her more. Thank you for posting that, Erin. But yes, if you do if you do end up wanting to join the Discord, please do. Yeah, Monotaro is the one who looks the most like Monokuma. I like her stilts. Yeah. Oh, he's saying the prologue is so long because they were here. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler when they get angrier. Super Monokuma 4. I do not like their belly buttons. What, Rose? Because they're Audi belly buttons? Esha's mostly in love with her boots. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Super Monokuma God Super Monokuma. That's not making fun of... of uh, Super Saiyan Blue at all. I've got 22 images of Miu for you, SJ. Ali, I appreciate this. I love the voice acting. I'm not mad. I've got to admit, I'm pretty proud of you guys. You guys stand out from the rest of the second generation failures of the world. What the hell? My resub didn't come up. No, it didn't, Rose. I don't know what the hell's going on. It should have come up with a, at the top with you, um... It should have come up with the... At the top. With, with the share button. You should be able to click the share button and it should pop up. I don't know why that didn't happen. I'm sorry, Rose. That's really strange. It should also be attacking the Becca bot at the top of the screen. Can we still get some love and hype? Some e uh, exclamation mark sub hype going... For, for Rose, please. Thank you, Rose. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry it didn't pop up, though. Let's get that sub hype going. Oh, there it is! Maybe, class, I forgot to click the share button. There it is. We're getting some rave going in here. Hey, Wolf Cub, I didn't see you sneak in here. Maybe because I forget to click the share button. There XD. it is. XD. I love that it actually speaks out the emojis. Did you hear it speaking, Rose? Everything you type in now, it voices when you sub. Or when you tip. Sneaky, sneaky. That wolf snuck right on in here. Rose is roselish for Ditsy. <laughs> He's not a teddy bear. He's a monokuma. Autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms. And we're in the middle of a killing game. Thank you, Ali. I'll have a look at them later. Much appreciated. Okay, guys. I started playing this in October. Because it's supposed to be a horror game. At points. So, although it hasn't seemed like horror thus far, I promise you it will get gory and gross. You said you guys were friends. You guys aren't friends. You're enemies who are out to kill each other. I know it's not a horror game, Erin, but it has gore and elements of horror. With brutal deaths, that's exactly the point. Each, in October, every day is something slightly different that has horror elements to it. Not exactly all scary, but... Monday is going to be a mix of stuff. Today I played this because Dungeons and Dragons is supposed to be happening. Um, Tuesday's Tuesday's still going to be Dungeons and Dragons. And I'm going to introduce horror elements to it. Wednesday is now Wimpy Wednesday, and it's going to be games with jump scares like Alien Isolation and Five Nights at Freddy's. 
And then I've got Thriller Thursdays and Fearful Fridays. It's all going to be horrific games all the way through October. I love how that little guy has the harshest voice. How are we supposed to kill each other? You're going to give us weapons. What kind of barbaric display are you talking about? The killing game is a refined, sophisticated experience. It's punctuated by class trials. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's get into it. Class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. I have to try this out. My ruffle cop to go so so. Oh no, oh no. Is it going to say the words? Oh, it didn't do it. I'm so sorry, Escher. It may just be only the, the subs now. Oh, I'm sorry, Escher. It didn't work. Although you've almost killed the Becca bot. The Becca bot only has 330 HP left before someone else becomes the boss. Aw, oh, but I'm sorry, Asher. I feel like I cheated. But still, thank you. I still feel bad. I feel bad. I feel like I feel like I messed up there. Sorry, Asha. Becca, no, that's cheating. Oh, Becca's now the boss again. Thank you for the 800 bits, Becca. That's so cruel. You got to be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. It's not enough to kill someone. You've also then got to survive the class trial. And now Becca has a new badge. I think for Pentance you should read S's message in a robot voice. Yes! I will do it. Let me go back up. <clears throat> right, let me try. I don't know how well I do robot voices, but I'll give it a go. I have to try this out. My ruffle copter goes soy, 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 soy. Did that sound robotic enough? <laughs> <laughs> what is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Uh, it's an execution. It's a bloody and brutal execution. You sound like GLaDOS. Yep, pretty good. It good down good. Yay! Sounded like GLaDOS is the best robot. You're the best, SJ. I tried, Esha. <laughs> Pardon me. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. That's the kind of stuff that gives me a raging boner. Oh, God, Monokid. Jesus. What, Monokid? You already have a boner? Wow. Wow. Blood, guts, brain. Oh, she threw up. I have a rock-hard rager. God damn it. Puke gives you a boner, too. <gasps> Wolf Bay subscribed! Thank you, Wolf Bay. That's really appreciated. Thank you so much. What? I was waiting for a chance for my next badge and didn't want to weaken myself. That's fair. Can we get some hub sub hype going? It's a brand new sub. It's a sub I've never had before. And she has hit 300 off of the Becca boss. Although I think subs should probably do more damage than that. I might up the damage, the, uh, the damage from subs to, to 1,000. Ugh. Oh god, I'm imagining the bear with a boner. Please kill me. I know, Erin. That's horrible, right? Let's get this heart pounding killing school semester started already. His voice is so cute, but he's saying such horrible things. I am full of so much nope right now. Prodigies, 
stuffed bears don't get boners. Not according to some thick I once read, lol. Rule 34 is a thing. <laughs> I'd probably enjoy making Monokuma for his red eye. I'd love a Monokuma. Monokuma is adorable. <laughs> Risking our lives for a game is absurd. How can you degenerates be so calm? Oh, this one. The funny. This one's the ultimate cosplayer. Becca tried to quote 34, but it says no quote found. How could it be no quote found? We're up to 280 something. A lie, more like fiction, like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality, we can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. Except it is. Oh! Rose just cheered 20 bits. Thank you, Rose. I deleted it ages ago. Oh, that's why. And Rose the, giving 20 bits just hit Becca for 20 HP. Quote 100. Oh, God, I can see a bloody penis. I mean, that's true. That was a thing that happened. Thirty-four was killed. I guess it's good that when you delete one, they don't all move down. They batteries make SJ happy. Raddy's favorite quote. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap. It gets me unbearably pumped up. I fucking love the bear puns. And now there's, there's six different Kumas. That makes me happy. Quote 69, I always feel pleased by you. That's amazing, Ali. Becca, your badge is for 10,000 bits? That's loads. That's, that's tons. SJ, have you ever played Prey? I started streaming it because of my current setup. I'm not going to stream for ages. I wondered if you'd played it. The, I haven't played it. Um, I know the new one is supposed to be really good. I was told that basically um, anything in the world can be a monster. I, t I was told that um, quite near the beginning a, a coffee cup attacks you. I want to play it, but I can't, af I can't afford it. That is a ludicrous amount of bits. Thank you so much, Becca. That's... 10,000 bits is a hundred pounds equivalent. And you spent more than that because it costs more than that to buy them. So was that all just the prologue of the game? Thank you so much though, Becca. Oh, there's Becca with her red badge. I have lots of love to give, along with other things I've bought. Yeah, Becca has given 10,000 bits. She's bought me several video games. Becca makes me stuff. Becca's amazing. Prologue complete. I guess we're going to see all the characters now. There you go. The official arts. These are good. Oh, he's creepy. I guess I see why you like him, Ali. Like the mask he had and everything? That was creepy. Oh, there she is. Yep. Monokuma. Oh, look, we're all puppets on a string. And the <gasps> bears, the mono cubs. I love this. This is so cool. Like, I, we haven't even started the game really yet. Like, that was all just getting to know the players. And here we go. This is our cast for the brand new game. Dagan Rumpa V3, Killing Harmony. And on that note, it's pretty much time to stop for the evening. Neat intro sequence. Yeah, you know, after two hours of playing. That was exhausting. GG, everyone. <laughs> New, obtained present. The badge for the school. Do you want to save? Yes, yes, I would. <laughs> well, now we have the prologue. <laughs> the prologue would have been a lot smaller if it wasn't for the Kuma Clubs. The Mono Clubs, even. It was worth every second. It was awesome. I 
a message on the monopad. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. When a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. If the blackened, that's the guilty one, is exposed during the class trial, they will be executed. If they are not exposed, everyone else will be executed. If the Blacken survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Nighttime is 10pm to 8am. The dining hall and gymnasium are often limits at night. Violence towards Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. I like the directly put in there. Your monopads are very important items. Please do not damage them. The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Hey Lulu, I'm lurking as I've not played games one and two of this series. It's okay Lulu, none of the stories are, into, are reacted at all. So, um, in, uh, so like one, two and three are all completely different games with completely different casts. If that helps you at all. But, um, yeah, no, I, I totally, I, I mean, I won't ever mind you lurking, though. I uh, just saying, if that's the only reason, then you don't have to worry. Uh, you won't spoil anything for yourself. Unless you plan on playing this game, of course. Because apparently after, this chap after chapter one, there's a massive twist. And everything changes. You gotta be kidding me. I will never... So this is like... Never participate in a killing game. This is like Battle Royale meets Phoenix Wright, this game, so far. And I'm quite liking it as, a, as an idea. He was a bomb in the first game if you if you beat him up. So you could actually attack Kuma Monokuma in the first game and he blew up. The Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. There she is. There's one of the women I love. I bet Lulu would want to cosplay her as well. Like, she seems Lulu's style. Listen. And there's Ali. Oh, two is, is a direct sequel of the first one, but three is a brand new one. There you go, Lulu. Two carries on from one, but three is now a new one. <gasps> Rose won a thousand cogs. That's awesome, Rose. Well done. Uh, but do you know what we haven't had tonight, Becca? Could we get a raffle for 3,000 cogs, please? Only two surviving students. That's... I see, I see. Always messing around. Thank you, Becca. If you'd like to join and potentially win 3,000 cogs, exclamation mark join. If you violate the rules, then the exiles will dispose of you. Hey, quit fighting already! I wonder who's going to win this, win the cogs. <gasps> Wolf Bay and Esher got 1,500 cogs each. Well done, guys. Wolf Bay wins quite a lot of those ones. Why did Raddy time out Cone? Cone hasn't even said anything. <laughs> Remember who the real enemy is. Well, well done, Esher. You just won a raffle. Shh, I'll give you my bribe later. Oh, Wolf Bay. What is the bribe? Well, we looked over all that and there wasn't a single hole. There's no opening the wall. How did we get inside the walls in the first place? There's got to be an opening somewhere. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other, so let's just not do that. Did you miss what Miyu said? Did I miss what Miyu said? What did Miyu say? Wait, Wolf Bay, am I getting nudes? Why did someone not tell me? Something, something, not a single hole. Lol. Well, of course not, Esher. There's at least three. I mean, what? <gasps> you made your case with such succinct aplomb that we've been rendered speechless. Even I can't handle that kind of vibration. See, this is why the maid and Miyu are my two faves. What is the maid's name? I missed it. I missed it again. You, you've got to set up that NSFW chat channel ASAP. I have not yet seen an NSFW chat on Discord that didn't end badly. Hirumi. Oh, her name's Hirumi. Thank you. 
You gotta peek in. See big underground. Oh, Gonta saw in. Gonta found a manhole cover. Gonta peek in. See big underground castle thing. Maybe exit. Oh god, that's amazing. Oh, Kirumi Tojo. Oh. Kirumi, not here, Rumi. Kirumi, close though. No, defined badly. Um, ended with people sharing stuff that probably shouldn't be shared online at all. Comes naturally to you then. You have what it takes to win. What you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. They don't want us working together. They're going to come for you, Kaede, with everything they've got. I'm a little bit worried about you. Oh, he's playing mind games. I like it. That was very close, Becca. You're right. That's true. It sounds like a warning. Yep, it's true. Being strong-willed could get you in a lot of trouble. No, but... Rentaro is a mystery. I think he's just hiding it. He's hiding what his ultimate skill is. It will be moderated. I mean, that's true, Raddy. I know it will be. You guys are awesome. But they always just end up being... They, they always just end up being, like, people sharing porn and stuff. Which I guess what they're for. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll, we'll give it a go. We're all adults in the channel, I think. I don't think anyone in the channel is any uh, a minor. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? Ali's NSFW chat so far eliminated. That makes sense. What is this room? It's still I still don't know what this room is. I was super joking about Nuto. I'm not into that. No, <laughs> Wolf Bear, We know it. We know you were talk joking. <laughs> if they are, oh, they can't say. That's true. I'm not a minor though. I'm a minor. You're a minor. What, Becca? I'm a miner. I'm the bird that they test for gas. I love my, I love you guys. You're, everyone in my chat's fucking amazing. Okay, so Ganta actually did say they saw a a canary. Thank you, Wolfbay. If I was feeling better, I'd purge you all. I need an adult. I am an adult. <laughs> I can't remember where Ganta said he saw, he saw the. Uh, Reganta said he saw the um, manhole cover. I wasn't paying enough attention. Yay, I got a school badge. Yeah. I also know that I've got a lot more. I've got 15. I still don't know what they do. So let's wait till after the first trial. Because I still don't know what they're for. <laughs> Transcripts can be read. Okay, we know we can't... Well, I think it was probably outside. If it was a manhole cover. Dum down, bam, bam, bam. Ah! There's one of the things. Oh, can we not actually do anything to them? Okay. We can't mess with them at all. Alright. Okay. Oh, okay. There's other bits that have opened up now. Hello. Hexagonal protrusion. I don't know how these two things are related. Well, it probably unlocks it, duh. Was this game originally made for the PS1 or PSP or something similar? There were games on those that were from this. Is that a Monokuma bear? Obtained a hidden Monokuma. It wasn't very hidden. Night doodles. It looks slightly too high res, res but use I think the originals were. So I think it's to continue on the style. The manhole's behind the school building. I need to catch up with everyone. PS Vita. Yeah, but V3 wasn't out on the PS Vita, was it? it? Said it was behind the school. What is this? That is musical stuff, which means when I get into my musical room, I will probably be able to play that somewhere. Don't know where this leads to, but it bothers me, but it's not an exit. 
Manhokov was behind the school somewhere. So we're heading behind the school somewhere. I'm going to save soon and get off though, because it is past my time for streaming. If anyone would like to, tomorrow at 8 p.m., British Standard Time, British Summer Time even, um, I will be playing Dungeons and Dragons with my wonderful, wonderful beginners. Wednesday, I'm going to be playing, I think, Alien Isolation from 9 p.m. Thursday, I think I'm going to play this again. So if you want to see more of this game, come back on Thursday. And then Friday, I'm away at a LARP, as per usual. Save. It's time to save. I might turn up. I th Thank you, Reddy. I hope you do. I always love seeing you. Even though I know you're joking around. You can set a theme for the monopad? Why is that exciting to me? Even though I know you're kidding. I, I, I do, seriously. Which one are you heading off to this weekend? This weekend, Eschatonic. I am going to... Nope, not system. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to Age of Ether, So I get to go be... Play Steampunk War of the Worlds. That is extra and not what I wanted. I wanted to leave the game. How do I leave the game then? Return to the title. Yes, please. There we go. So, yeah. Steampunk War of the Worlds. Set after War of the Worlds. And is all about steampunk. Which is great. I am actually the head of Russia, so I get to spend uh, I get to spend the entire game putting on some kind of sh terrible, absolutely shit European style accent. It's not very good, but I have to be kind of Russian. So, Russian is the best way I can put it. It's some kind of uh, terrible Eastern European accent, uh, attempting to be kind of Russian. <laughs> I guess I need to be a little heavier to be more Russian. But I'm, I'm terrible at it, but I enjoy doing it. So, um, yeah. Last time I played Age of Ether, I was Russian one day. Uh, later on, I was Scottish, and then I was American. I was posh British. I was British Cockney. Um, yeah. <laughs> Deepen your voice by half an octave and drop all prepositions. I, uh, uh, <clears throat> I will be the uh, best uh, Russian person, yes? I will... Uh, I uh, end every sentence with a uh, sort of question. Question. I don't know. I'm terrible. I'm going to mess it up now. But I'm not, I wasn't ready for it. There's certain words. I, I know you know this, Esha, because you're good with your voice and stuff. But there are certain words and phrases that just get you into it. But I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> but I had, yeah, like I said, I had to do Russian, Scottish, and American all in one day. And the next day I was posh British, cockney British, and back to Russian. This time I'm Russian the entire weekend. And... I'm in character hosting the whole thing. I'm in charge of everything. Because they're all coming to see me for this event. Like, in character. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> and then the week after that, I'm at a Red Wall LARP. So I'm going to play a Badger. Like, a, a Warrior Badger at a Red Wall LARP. So that's going to be interesting. What you have just typed. Why do I know that? That looks familiar. Is that a... While the sun is shining. What? Is that a book? Interesting. Interesting. And then Rose losing 500 just as I leave. <laughs> so yeah. I will see you wonderful people tomorrow. Hopefully at 8pm when I do Dungeons and Dragons. Um, where <clears throat> the lovely team of D&D beginners have a plan for getting through Thunder Tree. And after that, something horrible may be happening to them. And well done, Becca, for ending out the night winning 900 cogs. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to do before I go is throw out a raffle for 1,000 cogs. And then I'm going to say, I hope you've all had a wonderful evening. I hope you've enjoyed Danganronpa. Enjoy my horror month. Enjoy October. I'll see you possibly in the Discord. But I'm chatting, not typing, because so my voice is going. And I'm going to go get into bed and chat to you on my phone. Much love for all of you. I hope to see you tomorrow. If you want to see more Danganronpa, that'll be Thursday. Much love to you all. Clock Echo SJ, signing out for the evening. Wonder who's going to win those cogs. <laughs>